Hi folks, got a couple quick co topics to talk about today. We're going to talk about specifically how to set up your stream using something like Spotify, splitting that music audio so you can either have your, your, your stream hear it or you yourself hear it in your headphones or vice versa or both. Uh, we'll be covering that. Kind of came up in a conversation the other day. Um, we'll also be talking about the pink beard as well. So with that said, let's get straight into the video. Hi folks, welcome to our YouTube series. Here's where we look at anything we do to help you out with your stream, whether that's audio, visual, or brand. I'm your man, the Marga Menmok. Uh, fun stuff today, I suppose. Now, if you haven't done so already, uh, help me out on YouTube side. Hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way. It's free to hit, easy to hit. It's right there. Click it. It's pretty simple. <laughs> and if you haven't done so already, follow me on Twitch. I stream quite often, and it's always a good time. Now, I did have a, this conversation come up in chat the other day with one of my streaming buddies. Uh, we were talking about how to set it up, and I kind of linked... Um, them a couple things, but I figure you know what let's go ahead and do a tutorial video on how to set this up If you're familiar with voice meter, this should be pretty easy if you're not familiar with voice meter It might get a little complicated. Uh, you're always welcome to pause that button and everything like that so you can follow along um, Now if you haven't heard so already I've part of our friendly fire gaming crew community and in that one We are a group of local streamers who stream on one channel um, and we had a, a huge community goal which we hit and because of that, I got to dye my beard pink for a while. So that's why it's pink. Um, please follow our Friendly Fire group as well. I'll go ahead and link that channel down below. Um, it's always a great time there. Now, that said, let's go ahead and get into the gaming PC. And I'll show you how to set this guy up. All right, virtual audio software, voice meter, all that fun stuff. It can get complicated pretty quick. I'll link this website down below. Um, I think there's quite a few tutorials on how to set this kind of stuff up. I'll try to set it straight up. There's a couple of apps that you're going to need. You're going to get voice meter, either banana, voice meter, potato. Um, you go to underneath audio apps, there's banana, there's potato. Banana uses three inputs and two outputs. Potato uses five inputs and three outputs. That's pretty much the difference. Uh, potato is a donationware where it's free to use, but might ask you to donate every like six hours. And then if you do complete that donation, it will no longer ask you for that. It's a way to support the developers without necessarily, it gives you like a, a free trial in a way where you don't have to necessarily use it. Um, but if you like it, you can donate and help them out and it no longer gives you that pop-up. Um, you know what, go do it. I think it's a great piece of software. And I think that helping the developers out is also a great thing on there. I personally use Potato because I have a lot of inputs on my other PC. Not so much on this one, but my other one. And it works out really well for me. So I'm just familiar with it. Banana is the same thing. It just has a couple less inputs. And if you don't need them, you don't need them. So use what you need. Uh, what you will need, though, after you get one of those and you install it and use it, um, and if you're familiar with it, great. Um, if you need me to make another video for, about it, let me know. I did make a two PC audio setup video. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description. Um, if you uh, follow that one, it will show you how to install it and some of the basic features. Uh, but that one covers specifically the V-band option where you can take audio from one computer and beam it over into the other computer and also with the OBS setup. So. That's what that one's all about. Anyways, virtual audio cable is what we're going to need. Um, so there is one free one you can get right here, whether it's Windows or down uh, or or uh, Mac. And then if you need extra virtual audio cables, they have an, um, a couple other ones down here. These ones you have to pay to get. If you have lots of different audio routing that you need to do, you, this might be a really cool option for you. Okay. Anyways, download that guy. It comes in a zip. Um, I went ahead and already un unzipped it and extracted it to this folder. Um, and then you'll need to run either the setup if you have a 32 system or the setup 64 if you have a 64 system. You double click on this guy and it will install the, the drivers for you. Um, mine's already installed. It's asking me to remove the drivers uh, because that's what makes sense on there. You might have to run that as administrator um, by right clicking and hitting run as administrator. So you can run it. Depends on your system and your, and your um, settings. Um, and then you may or may not not have to restart your computer um, and that will also potentially set up your default devices to the virtual audio cable so if you're down here um, you might have to set up your your device back to voice meter instead it will probably reset it to the cable which we can use it that way it's a little more complicated but um, I, I just set it back up to voice meter and that way it 
resets the devices back to what it's supposed to. So your default device should still be voice meter, right? Cool. Um, so we have Spotify in the background. Um, I'm currently running it. Um, uh, it's kind of making making its noise. I don't know if that is actually showing up in the recording. I hope it's not. I don't think it is. It's not cool. It's because I don't have it routed. Um, so if you go underneath uh, my voice meter, you see I have Spotify here. Um, and it is actually making noise, um, w w which would show up in my earbuds because I have either my, my speakers or my earbuds showed up. Um, my speakers are unplugged, but there you go. Um, and I have it routed, but I had all have it turned on the recording. So, um, so we know we have Spotify actually making noise, but that doesn't help us out because we need to have it separated from the game audio because this game audio also beams into this one here for us. So how do we separate it from it? Well, that's kind of what this one is for. Um, so you, we need to go underneath our hardware inputs and on one of your empty ones, you want to select the virtual audio cable um, and that will um, highlight on that one. And now whatever we route to this cable will be separated. So if we go underneath our sound system um, on the bottom right, you want to right click and open sound settings. And this is where all you get to pick all your default devices. Your default output should still be one of the voice meter channels. Your input, I recommend one of your voice meter channels, depending on how many microphones you have set up. But underneath advanced sound options, you can actually route each app that's opened underneath here. So if you click on here, you have Discord, which is kind of cool. Um, although Discord, you can set it up independently. I'll show you that here in just a second. Um, so we actually have spot of here, Spotify here on the bottom. We have an output on this one. We just want to change the default for Spotify to that voice meter virtual cable. So cable input, audio cable, okay? And now when we go into here, we'll actually have volume showing up here and I can either route that to my headphone or my speakers, my headphones, or in this case, the other computer. Pretty cool, right? Um, other thing about this as well is you could separate the audio for um, OBS and um, I'll show you how to real, real quick we'll cover discord because I think that's another app for it. Um, in discord you can actually change your uh, input and outputs just by selecting that virtual audio cable if you wanted to do that so that's just kind of how you could do it on discord um, although it's already kind of set up in multiple channels for you so that's how you would do it in discord just by going underneath settings voice and audio and then you can actually see that cable input there but this is just the isolating only the spotify right now because that's what we had highlighted all right so if we want to use it in um, obs we can open up obs i'm sorry for streamception um, and then underneath the audio sources, you can hit plus new source, a new audio input capture. Um, I already have one there, but I, you can just make a new audio input capture. And in that default device, you can just literally select that virtual audio cable. You'll hear it now, probably on stream. I'm going to bring that volume back down. You can see that it's, it's popping some stuff off. Um, so now we know that it is in there and it is working, which is awesome. Um, and you can change the volume and route it however you want because now it's in voice meter. So on voice meter, I can route it to my headphones. I can route it to my other stream. I can route it to my, my speakers, wherever you want, because now it's separated from the main bulk and that's kind of how you do it. So I hope that answers your questions. I believe that's pretty easy to do because now we have it independent in OBS. We can change the volume and now we also have it independent here so we can click it on or click it off or even mute it in OBS if we wanted to. So that's how you set it up. If you have any questions, let me know and it glitches. You have a good day. Be safe out there. Thanks, Seth. Sorry, I, I had to pop off a little bit. Is that okay? No, you're fine.